I'll take the timer and here is your question. Right. So if you have read and understood, considering it surgical pathology station, kindly tell me how would you describe the pathogenesis in this condition of the patient? Uh, this, uh, this little girl uh, has severe pain after falling from the cycle. That means, uh, and her x-ray shows that destructive lesion in her uh, right tibia. So it might be a cause of pathological fracture. Okay. Uh, can you TBM? name yes? yes. Can, can you please name the conditions which can lead to pathological fracture? Yeah, there might be neoplastic causes and non-neoplastic causes. Very good. Neoplastic causes are multiple myeloma and okay. uh, other metastatic uh, bone cancer. And okay. non-neoplastic causes are osteoporosis, Bezis disease, osteomyelitis, osteogenesis imperfecta. Very good. Can you tell me how this condition occurs? How this pathogenesis, like if you can tell me the detail. Yes, in pre-existing uh, lesions of bone, yes. which could be neoplastic or non-neoplastic, and there is in trivial uh, injury or little injury may cause them to fracture of the bone, which okay. would not happen otherwise if there were not any pre-existing lesions of the bone? If there are no lesions of the bone and the uh, fracture of the bone occurs or takes place, how the healing process occurs or takes place? What are yes, the processes bone, or, yeah, of yeah, the bone? The stages, stages, stages of, of bone the... healing. Bone healing, there is uh, hematoma formation yes. uh, around the lesion uh, and then there will be uh, fibrocartilaginous callus formation uh, where there will be uh, fibroblast and fibrocytes will be accumulating and the tissue debris will be engulfed by the macrophages okay. and after, uh, then there will be fibrocartilaginous callus it occurs in uh, first to second weeks after three to four weeks there will be bony callus formation this fibrocartilages will turn into bones cells by osteocytic and osteoblastic activity. There will be uh, uh, calcium deposition and uh, this uh, uh, bone for, uh, bony callus formation will be uh, finally con uh, turned into bone uh, resolution of the fracture. Okay, can you tell me how should this patient be managed? Yes, this uh, patient should be managed uh, take the full history and then and uh, clinical examination I do some investigations like uh, a total, a complete blood counts to see any infections are there x-ray of the uh, x-ray of the site of the injury and then I have, I'll have to do the uh, blood calcium level uh, alkaline phosphatase level to see any multiple myeloma is there or not? Any other <clears throat> blood investigation that can be uh, worth doing or can help in diagnosis of the condition? Blood conditions? Uh, yes, the blood conditions. Not blood according conditions. To... For the no. diagnosis of the patient, any blood investigation? Uh, for multiple myeloma, we can check. I'm not talking about multiple myeloma. You have to, because you have classified into two. 
malignant yes. and non-malignant. So could there be any blood test, blood investigation that can help you rule out or that can help you know the diagnosis or to confirm the diagnosis? Could there be any blood test, any one blood test that you would do and it will be mm, blood test concluding uh... or it can help you help you diagnose the case. No, anyway, I, we'll come I, back I, to that. I we'll, uh, can think of one. Uh, X-ray has been done and that shows destructive lesion. This does not belong to the same patient, but can you help me read the X-ray? What do you see? First, if you can yes. tell me which side it is and what are you looking at, please? Yeah, this is the medial surface of the lower end of the ankle joint, showing which tibia side? and fibula. Right. The right side. Yes, good. What do you see? There is a bony uh, hyperdense shadow on the tibia, Where? lower tibia. Lower tibia. What about here, fibula? What do you see here? Can you describe this? Yes, uh, yes there is a. Uh, and you have to tell is... me more yes. about the, this that you are seeing. What it's kind of lesion? Hyperdense? Hyper yes. Hyperdense hyper shadow and osteosclerotic lesion. This is. Okay. That can signify what? Yes. Osteosclerotic lesions occur in case of bony metastasis of yes. prostatic cancer. Yes. Or uh, since it does not belong to the same patient, so it could be anything malignant. Yes. All right. Any other investigation that can be, can be done? Can, can we do? You can do Other bone biopsy. Right? Okay. Bone biopsy. Uh, what are we going to see in bone biopsy? A bone biopsy, you can see any malignant cells. And any 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 malign any malignant cells or any other uh, this uh, secondary metastasis is there or not? Okay. Can you please tell me, uh, right? How would you manage? pathological fractures or how should the pathological fractures be managed? Uh, the management should be uh, aimed according to the uh, diagnosis or according to the causes. Uh, if the cause is neoplastic, then we should uh, treat the primary neoplasm or if it is uh, some metastasis, then we should treat the primary lesions and then... Primary cause first, uh, okay. But nevertheless, how would you manage the pathological? Yes, we could we could do we could do uh, uh, surgical uh, surgical removal of the uh, bone segments. I can do. No, radiotherapy. you have to think. How would you? Okay, if there is a fracture of a normal person, how and should a fracture, fracture be? Yes. Yes. If 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 it is a fracture only, then we can do intermedullary nail fixation or external fixation. Okay. How uh, should a pathological fracture be managed? Now you <laughs> have to use your common sense and tell me because if it's a pathological fracture and without a cause of trauma, without a cause of any, yeah, it can occur. Right? Yes. So how yes. would you, like using your common sense, manage that kind of fracture? It's immobil fracture should be managed by immobilization and if a rest, uh, a rest a pain uh, analgesics and then fixation with intermedullary nails. Okay, uh, right. Right. And treatment of the primary cause. Yeah. And that you'll discuss uh, in your MDT in the, before you MDT. tell you, your patient. And then you'll do it accordingly. All right, good. What I want you to say that you have to make a plan. Write it down and read it and see if it makes sense. And then you have yes. to prioritize it. That what thing that you have to say first. Because if you are saying that it could be malignant, it could be non-malignant. So if it's posed, it's malignant, then you have to discuss it in your MDP team. And then according to the MDT team, you have to prioritize what you have to do first. Nevertheless, whatever is the cause, 
you have to manage the patient and then you have to do yes. management accordingly if it is carcinoma of the bone or whatever whatever is the cause distant metastasis or, or of the origin of the bone you have to manage it accordingly and then um, management of the pain accordingly everything so you have to write the management accordingly and you have to prioritize it good thank you